Chief Minister announces the 15th of every month as People's Day. Pub public can meet their representatives on this day. Manipur had 116 days of ban, 103 days of economic blockage in 2016. The law still March this year is estimated at 1,672 crores. Former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam asserts the 15-year rule of Congress will occupy an important place in history. And Vela they observe to pay respect to brave CRPF personnel who sacrificed their lives for the country. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English News. I'm Lai Thangwa Monica with the latest news updates. Chief Minister Nong Thong Bumbirain has announced the 15th of every month as Miyam Ginumit or People's Day. On this day, public will be allowed to meet their representatives, civil and police officers. He made the announcement at a reception organized by women vendor organizations of Kwaramban Bazaar this afternoon. The Chief Minister says this was done to give an opportunity to the public to voice their problems and also to share their views regarding the developmental works with ministers, MLAs and government officials. There will be an official announcement soon in this regard. Birain said Koyatong to Samumakong will be made parking area. He also said the government is framing up market policy. Biswajit also said the government plans to complete the renovation work of market buildings damaged by the earthquake before September this year. Mahut Minister Shyam Kumar promised to make Kwaramban Bazaar a neat and clean market. He also assured the women vendors of resolving all their problems. Mayor of Imphal Municipal Corporation and a large number of women vendors were present at the reception. System kray kray sumthong na bukhon na zari. District ki town yaw na small town masa masa yaw na. Koi government ki community health center lai ba sub center. Adu kumma pham zinda koi government ki wai na koi ki. ปลีนิกขันมาซิสมมหังโกขันมาดูกิตังไคตังไคตานะกิตาโกยนะฟังกันนะกิสกิมเซมาไปยามทูนะไปกันละกันนี่ออลเอสโอเรบะอัลโอ
Sikisi mangi. Simung yam bapai sa mang ba ban blokit the mang ali ba ekonomik the sokal ali ba port sa government na hindal pa yan na tau pataya ba ko. Any organisation gumba or any private organisation gumba mana ban blokit tau pasiti ay 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 gi research matung ina di pati ay na ay di lau di lau eh tau di tau haning di. Nungba MLA and former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam today asserted that a 15-year Congress rule under Okram Ibubi will always occupy an important place in the history of Manipur. Speaking at the 47th Foundation Day celebration of National Students Union of India and SUI Manipur State at Congress Bhavan, Gai Kangam said a non-Congress government in the state after 15 years is a great challenge to the Congress party. He said the Congress came to power in 2002 and for 15 years it provided a stable government and did its best, best for the development of the state. The Congress Assembly described the long rule as a rare incident and insisted that it will be it in the memories of the people for a long time. He claimed that the BJP-led government will not be able to provide good governance in the state. Gai Kangam also expressed apprehensions that Manipur will be in a mess under the BJP-led government. He said the BJP should not engage in political propaganda but try to translate their promises into action. Taking advantage of the function, the former Deputy Chief Minister also appeals to the government to not treat the women vendors mercilessly and to resolve vendor issue through talks. Bishtapur MLA Govindas Konthausam, executive members of MPCC and volunteers of NSUI Manipur State attended the function. Madu Yoder Powder, Tam of Powdy, it ain't in a pipe and Bungham the Rive, I say. A job of challenge, only Hora Dabane. Political stability, Karadi Lakani, Wakan Gini Tabu Wakan, Ashe, Dakali, Prasadi Bapuni, Equitimanini, High Big Discipline of Hata, La Paduna, Sahitara, Mangi, Manusta, whatever home of her, put up Bungham Zeriba, sir, because of the stability. A quick Congress party, D. Mado. Poison फौजिन तोड़ना, instability create तोड़ना, सरकार पाये में शुरू करें, constructive होएगा, opposition party होएगा, एक वही work तो work, तो वहाँ है वैसे, मुझे कि work लोन तो सेल फंसी जाने को Valor Day was observed at CRPF Group Center at Langjing to pay respect to the brave CRPF personnel who sacrificed their lives for the country. Valor Day is observed in remembrance of an act of unparalleled bravery displayed by a small contingent of CRPF personnel pitted against a full-fledged infant infantry brigade of Pakistani army trying to overrun their post at Sadar Post, Ran of Kutch, Gujarat on April 9, 1965. They not only defeated the Pakistani brigade but also killed 34 enemy soldiers and captured four of them. Speaking to Impact News, IGP Manipur Nagaland sector Vikram Sehgal emphasized the role of CRPF in maintaining peace in the state. He also said CRPF played a vital role in the peaceful conduct of the 11th Manipur Assembly elections. Vikram Sehgal appealed to the youth of the state to join CRPF and lead a quality life and also help in safeguarding the state. 9th of uh, April, the whole force is observing the Valor Day. Our boys fought with a lot of valor and acted with a lot of display of courage and bravery and not only prevented them from breaching our borders but also brought about a casualty of more than 35 Pakistani soldiers and captured four of them alive. And the entire brigade was forced to beat a retreat. This kind of a valor has never ever been depicted anywhere in the world. And with my message, I would like to motivate the youth of Manipur to come forward and join the armed forces, the paramilitary forces, to make a good career for themselves, to serve their nation with dignity and pride. As part of the observance, IGP Vikram Sehgal presented mementos to CRPF officer, a head constable and 12 other CRPF Jawans. Assistant Commandant Tonglen Lal Haukip, who won a, Man a Pulis Gallantry Medal in 2013 and is currently in charge of communication, Manipur Nagaland sector says the recognition given to them on this day motivated them to serve the nation. I was awarded this Pulis Medal of Gallantry in 2013 for a successful operation in 2011 at 
Pulwama district, that is in Jenke, where my team and along with RR and SOG group, we neutralized two Pakistani militants for which we were awarded. And then every year on this day, on this Valor's Day, uh, recipients of gallantry medals are always honored in every institution of CRPF where we are given a token of give to honor our achievements. So I'm very grateful to CRPF for honoring us every year and recognizing our achievements give us a motivation it, it reminds us of our duties give us that pride to continue in this endeavor members of singh jamai kendra ward number 17 today held a reception for singh jamai mla and speaker yumnam kemchan at singh jamai community hall speaking at the event kemchan said developmental works will be taken in the constituency at the earliest he said a number of wrongdoings have been found in the construction of singh jamai market kemchan said steps will be taken to construct the market as desired by the shop owners and issued will be resolved after discussions with officials of the departments concerned he also appealed to the people to extend all possible support. Like I have a community of Wolomas, I have a Mahom Putopiraba, I Sazaga, I will see my among the Tamjanis in a higher Kanda, Madame Negoset of the Rekarin to why we don't know how to get together with Indo, except that we don't know Moiko Bio and Lucian and Biona. Singa made the own book of Sabine, Tiga to listen to Zoe Singa Miguel Pazan Athene. About the Kakato Kakin to the Naka Mahuta, Tawido Tawan Biro. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar, who was elected from Oripo constituency, was felicitated today at by all Manipur Dalit Development Association at Langol Ningthau Likai Community Hall. The Tula King of Manipur, Lysemba Sanajawa, released a calendar of Kangla Wayan Lup at the event. Persons who have won international awards and Dr. Ambedkar National Award 2015 were also honoured. Oinam BJP Election Working Committee today held a reception for Oinam MLA L. Radhakishore at his residence today. Speaking at a function, Radhakishore says all the 60 elected representatives should focus on their respective constituency regarding the ILP issue. Lamsang MLA Sorokhaibam Rajin has claimed that 41 lakh rupees have been recovered from the former Lamsang MLA W. Brajavidu, which he misappropriated under the National Food Security Act and FSA. Speaking at a reception held by 17 by 20, 17 by 31, and 17 by 32 Lamsang BJP Booth Level Reception Committee at Lamdeng Kuno New Community Hall, Rajin today says a complaint was lodged at Imphal West Police in connection with the distribution of rice under the NFSA. He investigated the matter and found that the former MLA, transport agent and nominees were involved in the misappropriation of rice. He said the amount will be utilized for purchasing embroidery machines for unemployed women in Lamsang constituency. <laughs> Mahavir Jayanti, the birth anniversary of 24th and last Jain Tirthankar Bhagwan Mahavir is being celebrated across the country today. Mahavir Jayanti is considered to be one of the most auspicious events for Jain people and holds a lot of importance in their religious life. Devotees of Lord Mahavir and his followers celebrate this festival by chanting prayers, offering prasad and participating in chariot processions. President and Vice President and Prime Minister have greeted the people on the occasion of Mahavir Jayanti.
Mahavir Jayanti is also celebrated in the state. Jain Vikas Mandal Manipur celebrated the 2616th birth anniversary of Lord Mahavir. The idol of Mahavir was taken out in a chariot in a procession in and around Kwaramban Bazaar. The procession began from Digambar Jain Mandir, Pona Bazaar and covered various places in the bazaar before concluding at Jain Mandir. Today is Mahavir Jayanti, the birth, the birthday of our Lord Mahavir. And as you can see, this is the entire Jain community taking part and showcasing how important this day is for us. And they are taking the procession which will go around the bazaar and it will end at the Jain Mandir. As you can see, this is the, this is what we call Rath and people will be, people will be taking People will be taking part very enthusiastically in this procession and taking the entire round of the bazaar and it will end in the Jain Mandir. Thank you so much. Janesh Kastival reporting for Impact TV with El Subash. Speaker Y. Kim Chan also greeted the people, especially the Jain community, on the occasion of Jain Mahavir. Mahavir Jayanti, sorry. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Christians today celebrated Palm Sunday at Word of God Church in Bishnupur district. People sang gospel songs and held prayers. The pastor explained the significance of the day and wished the people coming from different parts of the state. The 11th Mummy Numit was celebrated today at MFDC Hall at Palace Compound. Organized by Film Forum Manipur and Manipur State Film Development Society, the event was attended by Art and Culture Minister L. J. N. T. Kumar, distinguished artists and lovers of art. Floral tributes were also paid to the deceased artist. Best Film Journalist Award and Best Cartoonist Award were presented to M. Surjit of Sanalai Bak and B. B. Sharma of Sangai Express. Why may I have a contribution to your own regularly? Manipur is a man. Stage inspiration. I think Madame Madina, Manipur is a man. I think Wang, Nanda, 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 Imphal Municipal Corporation elected Ward Development Committee Members Forum says departments concerned have not released funds for the members who were elected on January 2, 2016. In a press release, the forum threatened to surrender their certificates to the governor. All Manipur DPC completed candidates of Police Constable Mail 2013 have appealed to the government to declare the results of the recruitment. Candidates and guardians stage a sit-in at Kaisampad Lemajam Lekai Community Hall in this regard. They drew the attention of the BJP government to look into the matter and declare the results as soon as possible. They threatened to resort to agitations if the results are not announced. <laughs> Mayak na dunu na lakla ba all Manipur DPC completed police constable mayor tatham base ki anha singi punsi bu government asina atuba matam da tha zaba ya ba positive response amatangi ayi ba chi amadi press media ki thong da khanghan bio kari guma de 16 mamang da phang da ba tara di makhal makha kaya ki khongjan chan silaga economic block at general strike protest matam kak ta na to to gani hai na all hill areas sports person ama oina appeal to zari Later, the candidates and their guardians took out a protest march towards Raj Bhavan to submit a memorandum. However, they were stopped and diverted towards the GP college by the police. Police asked them to select a few represent the memorandum. An awareness program on the prevention of hepatitis B and C and hepatitis screening test was held today at Thobal Ningombampi Community Hall. MNP Plus Manipur and Thobal Assembly Youth Congress organized the awareness program. At least 105 persons were screened for hepatitis.
A health camp was held at Imphal Rising Youth Club at Kaisampat Lemajam Lekai to prevent breakout of diseases in the wake of the recent flash flood. Health Minister LJ Kumar initiated the camp with the help of Health Department and Development Committee of Kaisampat Lemajam Lekai. Ultrasound tests were conducted free and medicines were also distributed at the health camp. ตัวเกิดมาอย่างนี้ตัวมาตัวเกิดสุขกันคอนโทรลตัวสุขกันไหมเดี๋ยวเราจะนะเห็นเอฟเฟกติบไปว่ามองกันบ่ได้อ่
Jaipur had 116 days of, of ban, 100 and day, 103 days of economic blockage in 2016. The loss till March this year is estimated at 1,672 crore rupees. Former Deputy Chief Minister Gaikhan asserts the 15-year rule of Congress will occupy an important place in history. And Valade observed to pay respect to brave CRPF personnel who sacrificed their lives for the country.